Hello, and welcome back to the next episode of GeoGuessr Daily Challenge. Uh, today will be the Daily Challenge for October the 23rd of 2021. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, starting off, feels European. Um... Is that French? Yes. So it looks... These are the type of signs you see in France anyway. This looks like it says GR02 or something, but I'm not going to go off of that because it could be wrong. I do want to see this sign, though, if I can. This should help a lot. No, it shouldn't. Oh, this one will, though. I could actually land in front of the sign. There we go. Okay, so Nantes is what seems like on the S1 to the west. So if we go in, I think Nantes is near Paris. Could be completely wrong. Um, could be stupid. Where is it? There it is. Um, not near Paris. So on the S1, what is the S1? I didn't even know they had S roads. It's because they don't? Weird. Okay, but you know what? So Nantes is one way. And then Udon. <laughs> Udon is another way. And Shamtoso is another way. Uh, that's a little tough. I actually am going to look for more signs. Here we go. The D323 is where the D723 is not. The 323 and the 723. Okay. So the 323 will lead to nonce. No, 723. Here it is. There's Udon. And the 323, right? So that's where we are. So if we just move backwards to where we started, which is a little bit east, we started basically at this intersection that leads to Chateau Haute something. And that's where there. So we start about there. And there we go, 5,000. That was a pretty easy round, I think. Um, There's a lot of good, easy signs. Um, So, yeah. Let's hope the rest are like that. All right. Okay, so the first thing I think when I see this is like... I was going to say Bangladesh, but that's wrong. Uh, I think we're in Malaysia or Indonesia, based on the language. Um... I don't know any more than that. Um, the T, looks like the roads are all T's, right? The T6 and the T13. Um, I'm going to really quickly look across Malaysia and Indonesia, see if I could see any T roads. Indonesia doesn't seem to have any other than this like main one road. They don't have them labeled, it looks like. And then these ones are Q's. A bit odd. I don't think we're in the Philippines. So those are E. There's some E's in there, right? There are T's up here. There's K's near Ke in Kedah. Perak will have P roads maybe? It has A roads, D roads there, C roads here. It's just a matter of time till I find the T's. It's like N roads here, M roads, J roads here 
Oh, I gotta find it eventually, right? Maybe this is a bad idea to be searching like this, but you know what? I have nothing else. So that's that part of Malaysia, and then there's this part. So there's Q roads here. We're not in Brunei, and then there's A roads here. So basically, I just spent two minutes looking for something that seems to not exist. I am going to plop us down here. Um, and I don't recognize these places at all. There's the E8. Aha! There's the E8 to KU Kuala Dungun is what I'm assuming. Um, let's actually step back one more and see if we could read it. To Kuantan. The E8 to Kuantan. Um, the E8 goes quite a bit, doesn't it? K Lumpur, KT something, right? KT, Kuala Terror or something. We might be super north. Oh, wow. Okay, that's very lucky. I mean, that's ridiculously lucky i literally just put the marker down where i saw the e8 first um i didn't see these t roads ever and chukai might have been on the signs but i don't know if i even internalized that um super lucky round but a good guess 4968 is very serviceable and that is going to bring us well in to the range for gold again so moving forward we're in Latin America, and I dare say Chile. My patria. Here we go. This is my neck of the woods. So, finding out where you are, at least in this country, is very easy which country you're in because it always says it. I mean, there's always a flag, sorry. And it looks like we might be, well, that says the trans... Antofagasta, right, which is a city, but it's also the um, the region. So let's first go to Antofagasta and put it down in there just to be safe. And we're going to try to find something that can like identify where we are um i don't get a lot of chile around so i can't really be i'm not an expert on finding what city you're in um well okay so we're pretty near to the coast and there is a railroad um that's not going to help is it i mean there's that would be probably this or something but like it goes here probably right that's probably yeah um so let's go back to the start there's a pitch right there's a soccer pitch maybe we could find that um there's one right there let's see what street we're on Montevideo. Holy shit. Well, there we are. <laughs> Found it just like that. Okay. So there is, uh, we're just a little bit further up the street, and there is another perfect score. Okay. Good game so far. Very good game. Oh, could be in Chile again. Uh, we literally are. Okay. Um, Santiago is to the south. We're in the desert. <laughs> Um, and to our north is the Salitrera something. Um, this is going to be harder because we are in the desert.
I need to find out what kind of station we're at. Didn't they... Did it say Santiago to the south, or did it say it to the north? Now I've forgotten. Um, and it could be Santiago, like, a thousand miles away. Not, not like, right over there, because obviously... So if it's probably to the south, because the desert is to the north. So we're probably up this way. Um, let me go... So we're heading south. Yeah, so it did say Santiago to the south. Let's see if we can go north. And then X of Salitrera and Alemania. That could help. Um, Alemania just means Germany, but maybe they named a place Germany. Um... X O F Salitrera. So you got a minute left. I can't find that. I am gonna like zoom forward to the north a little bit. See if we could find any signs that help. This one says like a station, right? Yeah, parking. Oh, was there a sign that this freaking thing is blocking? Oh, I think there is. I'm not sure. We are in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to look one last time for an Alemania, but oh, this is going to help. This is going to help. Arica, uh, Antofagasta is 193 miles. Uh-huh. And then Arica, right, Iquique. Okay, so we're here, probably along this way, um, I'm looking for Alemania, okay, and not too bad, we lost 234 points, if my math is right, probably wrong, but, um, not a bad round. But look, you see how much like the um the map is shrunk in here. I got not too far away and you lose like 300 points. If I was that close like here, I think I'd have more points. You get what I'm saying? Like the map is like proportioned weirdly so point values are are different based on distance. Anyway, last round coming up. Let's see. So it's feeling like Belgium or Netherlands. That says hair hauling. Yellow in the back. Yellow in the front. They do that in the Netherlands. But, wait, hold on. That's the Belgian flag. Haha. Uh -huh. And yeah, there's a bunch of white license plates. So I think we're in Belgium. And that person was from the Netherlands. Yeah, those are two Belgian flags. Okay. So, Belgium it is. What city? It's one that speaks. German. Can I not go over there? I can. Thank you. Too bad I can't read German. Uh, Tekup. I see Tekup all the time. I don't know what it means. For sale? I don't know. Um... It's like a sports bar, seeing if there's like a soccer club on there. Football. German speaking. I want like street signs and stuff. That should help more than anything. This is the main road in town, so there must be a way out from here, right? Yes. So, entering the town, what do you see? says Barle Nassau Barle Hertog Barle Nassau and Barle Hertog So we're on the German section, right? Like over here, I think. Um Barle Nassau Barle Hertog
I'm going to just plop it for now. Um, wondering if there's signs that say, let's say we go a little further down. Is there going to be a highway or some kind of sign that tells me what's coming up? 60 kilometers per hour, right? Like this is, oh, the N260. There we go. N, does that say 260? Really? Yeah. N260, but it's yellow. Could we be in the Netherlands? No. Germany? Maybe the N260 is like, it can, this road continues on to the N260 if you go into Germany. Shoot. Or if you go into the Netherlands. Which is, yeah, exactly what it was. It was basically like that. Uh, not a bad round, only 300 points lost, and I think, yeah, that's our first gold, and only overall 622 points lost, I think, yeah, nice round, nice day, I mean, these ones were very nice to see, this one got pretty lucky, this France round was very easy. It had all the signs I needed. This one was tough. I think I was a little too slow on the searching, so could have been a little faster, but hey, overall, a great game. That should land me pretty high on the leaderboard for today. No, it shouldn't. Oh, 36th, and if you get rid of all the, well, two of the cheaters, um... Maybe they're not cheaters. You know what? That was an easy, cool, easiest enough day for someone who just did it legitimately. I don't know. But there is always some cheaters. So, yeah. Anyway, great day. Fun daily. And you know what? We will be back tomorrow for another. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. And subscribe if you want to see more of these videos every day. So thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.